so here is the finished product. I think they look pretty good. I'm really, really, really happy with them. I think it looks so good. It's gonna look so nice when the arches are fitted in and we got it all buttoned up and good to go. I think it looks awesome. <laughs> I just with the, the big wheels, <laughs> they're so much bigger and so much wider. <laughs> it looks like a bit of a tank. Oh, uh, nah, well, I think they're doing good. Um, but yeah, so. Thought I might sit inside for the rest of the video because there's a weird whirring noise outside coming from this weird big, big machine thing. Um, but yeah, we've got the tires painted. I think they look really cool. I think I'm probably gonna put it in the shot just before. Um, and yeah, it looks so much better than I thought it would. I thought it looked good, but um, I had mixed uh, opinions on the idea and I think it was really worth doing it. But yeah, I was also kind of thinking that I might talk about all the other future mods that we're gonna to do to, to Frank the Defender. <laughs> um, I've actually got quite a few things on their way at the moment. I just noticed when I look at the camera, I'm not actually looking at you. So anyway, I can't concentrate. Um, but yeah, we got quite a few things coming all from the UK because there's just nothing available in Australia at all, sadly. That's cool anyway. Um, but the things that I'm getting, actually that should arrive, we'll go, we'll start from date of arrival. Um, tomorrow should be arriving um, from Uproar 4x4. They've been really good. I had Scott make and invoice me for each different order that I placed. Uh, but yeah, they're the guys that I got my uh, bar from because if you follow the page you probably would have seen that I had an ARB bull bar before and now I've got a uh, the uproar renegade bar with the little tinted DRLs in there as well which is going to complement the look that I'm going for a lot more than the big bar so from them tomorrow I'm hoping the 11th of May um, I should be receiving uh the headlight surrounds so it's like an aluminium just like square with no sort of like popped out parts like the one that you get uh normally and it's also got the like the series little surround shroud thing on the inside of that as well which i think looks really good like i think if you add that to any defender it just makes it look more classy instantly i don't know why they wouldn't do it normally um but with that, I'm going to be painting that to match the body colour of the car. Now there was a photo that I saw on car sales of, it was an ad from Twisted. I'll insert the photo now, but that was what I was going for. I thought it looked really, really, really cool, like how it was just all the same and just having like the dark headlight. So I was always going to do that. So that'll be coming tomorrow, as well as the grill. It's just like a, I think it's steel. I should know this, but it's a black metal grill. Um, like the, I'll insert another photo. <laughs> um, Cause I can't describe anything. Uh, yeah, with that as well. And I'm gonna be putting those on tomorrow, probably. I'll be recording it anyway, so you'll see it. Um, see me struggle to paint the headlight surrounds the same color. I've already got the paint organized, but we'll see how it, how it looks and how I go. Uh, and hopefully, uh, Wednesday, there should be the big, the big bowler arches should be arriving on Wednesday. They've been sitting in Sydney for a week now from DHL. I paid way too much for shipping, for the express shipping from the UK. Um, and the package got wet. So what they thought was a good idea was to keep it in the wet packaging in Sydney airport up until I rang and complained about uh, not receiving it and it being stuck in Sydney for a week, which is good. It's, it's always good when you spend almost half of what the actual product costs on shipping to be express and then 
they just don't bother telling you that it's delayed or they wait until you actually complain to reship it again. Anyway, um, after that, <laughs> that should be coming here Wednesday and I'm hoping and I'll be putting that on maybe Thursday or Friday. I'm terrified of drilling holes into, into this car. I, I'm not looking forward to that at all. And there's actually another thing that I'm getting. I'm getting from another thing from Uproar 4x4 is the fuel tank. It's like a little fuel tank cover and I'll be getting that in the gloss black. And I just think that's going to be so handy because my keys are in my pocket. One thing that I find really annoying when I go fill up the car is I need the different key that one there to actually unlock the fuel cap and take it off but it's like a little spot it's like a little place and whenever i put that in and then you try and twist it you got all this junk just like not agreeing with you with what you're doing <laughs> um so having a little key slot on the outside on a flat part against the rest of the body to unlock it and just unscrew the lid easily will be so much better i'm really keen for that and i think it'll just look more tidy and clean at the same time but yeah is there anything else that is coming soon the wheels <laughs> i'm getting new wheels as well uh i'm getting i'll insert a photo it's it's the 16 by 10 inch challenger beadlock um wheels from four four wheel drill four-wheel drive tires UK um, I think uh, I'm getting it from them because they're the only people that actually have them which was kind of funny uh, so that's probably the I don't know that's gonna make the tires look insane because they're 10 inches with negative 32 offset they're gonna look crazy they're gonna be so wide you're gonna need all the extra room you get with the new arches um, and 35 inch tires, it's gonna be really good. Uh, but I don't know when they're gonna get here. Uh, I paid for them uh, three days ago now, after a bit of a, I don't know, it's a bit difficult with the logistics and the shipping from UK right now because of Corona and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, when they come, I'll get the tires on. I'll probably, Fit, no, I take that back. I'm going to fit the arches when I know, probably a day or two before the wheels are going to come. So I don't drive around looking like an absolute dickhead with massive arches and little tiny skinny 31 inch tires. That won't look too good. But yeah, apart from that, I don't think I've forgotten anything. And yeah, that is what is coming to this channel. Um, and also my Instagram, uh, not my, yeah, Frank the Defender. Uh, I'll link that below as well if you're, if you're keen, but most people watching this, all 14 subscribers, <laughs> um, I think have come from, from the Instagram page when I first shouted that out. So thank you for supporting me. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will upload something with each thing. I've got a couple more videos coming along as well. Just really basic ones on doing what I want to do with this car. Um, such as taking out the floor, uh, floor lining because that smelled like vinegar and awful. And what else was there? The little side, the little, the big heavy steel side steps. I removed them from both sides as well because I'm going to be painting the sill black and just reducing weight in the car too. There is a bird on the roof. And it's gone. That was weird. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm painting the side sills uh, black to tie in with the with the roof because that's also black. And as well as that, I'm gonna be repainting my rear cross member a gloss black as well to make it all tie in uh and yeah that's what's coming most recently i will update you for anything else if there is anything else coming soon 
but yeah thank you again to the people that are watching there isn't very many of you but i appreciate it a lot and it's kind of cool just documenting what i'm doing to this car but yeah uh if you did enjoy this video um maybe give it a like or comment down below what you think i should be doing differently uh i'm very new to this as you can probably tell i've noticed in a lot of the uh videos that i'm making trying to do tutorials i sound not like how i would talk it's really it's really weird to listen back to it and just not recognize my voice or the way in which i'm talking it's really odd but yeah anyway thanks for watching and i will see you when i install my new grill and headlights around